Hi everyone. Today I'm going to give a short introduction to our paper on total order HTM plan verification with method preconditions. The goal of this paper is to develop a new total order HTM plan verification method based on the standard DYK parsing algorithm. As a start point, let me first introduce TO HTM TM planning. Generally speaking, TO HTM planning is to keep decomposing so called component tasks until a sequence of actions, which are also called primitive tasks, is obtained. <laughs> so, for instance, here we have an initial component task, which can be decomposed by three methods. We choose the first one, which gives us a task sequence. Now for this second component task, we choose this now empty method, which results in another task sequence. <coughs> Lastly, we use this only method to decompose this third component task and uh, a plan i.e. an action sequence is a solution if <laughs> it is executable in the initial state it is obtained from the initial component task and every method precondition is satisfied so the basis for using the CYK algorithm in TO HTM plan verification is the connection between a TO HTM planning problem and a context-free grammar. So um, more specifically, a primitive task can be viewed as a terminal symbol. A component task can be viewed as a non-terminal symbol and a method without preconditions can be viewed as a production loop. <coughs> Therefore, in TO HTM plan verification, <coughs> uh, we need to check whether each method precondition is satisfied when constructing the CYK table. This is our TO HTM plan verification algorithm. The core idea is identical to the CYK algorithm. Namely, we use a table to memorize all component tasks, which can be decomposed into a subsequence of the plan. And uh, a component task can be decomposed into <coughs> a subsequence I2J if and only if there is a method which can decompose this component task into um, a subsequence i2k and the k plus 1 to j for some k. Another thing to notice is that the standard CYK algorithm demands that an input planning problem is in Chatmosky normal form in which every method contains either uh, two component two component subtasks or one primitive task. Uh, but here we only demand that an input planning problem is in so-called two regulation form in which every method contains at most two subtasks, each of which can be primitive, compound, or empty. The reason for using two regulation form is that we can keep the size of an input planning problem small because transforming a TO HTM planning problem into Tratmosky normal form can result in the quadratic 
explosion of the problem size. <laughs> well, in order to adapt to regulation form, uh, we have to check all unit productions that can need to each method. Lastly, in the empirical evaluation, we compare our method with the passing-based one, the planning-based one, and the set-based one. Clearly, our method outperforms the passing-based one and the set-based one. On the other hand, it slightly underperforms the planning based one in verifying valid plans with method preconditions, <laughs> but it is still better uh, in the remaining case. Therefore, we still regard our method as a better decision procedure. <laughs> in conclusion, this paper developed a CYT-based TO-HTM plan verification method which outperforms the set-based one and the passing-based one and uh, it can be viewed as a better decision procedure compared with the state-of-the-art uh, planning-based plan verification method. That's the end of my talk. Thank you so much.